Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some business ideas that you can start up in Nigeria and start making money for yourself. These businesses are lucrative, they are high in demand, and when you start up this business, you start making good money for yourself, alright? But before we continue on those topics, if you are seeing my page for the very first time, you are welcome to my channel. On this channel, I share with you guys different ways of making money both online and offline, and if this is what you're interested in, if this sounds like what you're interested in, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell icon so that you know if I whenever upload a new video to my returning subscriber. Thank you for always stopping by to watch my video. You guys well. So back to what I was saying. Business idea that you can start up in Nigeria in 2024 and start making money for yourself. Alright. Number one on my list is production of skin to market. This is a very lucrative business here in Nigeria that when you start up, you are going to make money for yourself because skin to mantle is something that we use on a regular basis. This is what we use for our jollof rice for our porridge and for a lot of things. And there is no family in Nigeria that does not use thin tomato, all right? So if you start up this business, you are going to make money for yourself because thin tomato is high in demand in Nigeria. It's something that we buy every day. It's something that we need. Both the rich, both the poor, both the middle class, everyone needs thin tomato to prepare one of these things, all right? So if you start up this business, you make money for yourself. So how do you start up this business? First, have to have the basic knowledge, know how to produce this thing tomato by going to YouTube to watch several videos on how to produce thin tomato, or you can locate any place that they produce thin tomato and register to learn how to produce this thin tomato. But it's really very simple to produce it, all right. So when you when you are done learning how to produce this tomato, then register with all the necessary bodies that you Required like the NAVDAC, like the CST, any registration that you need to register, register with this body, then start up this business and start making money for yourself. What I would advise is that when you start up this business, you have to take your advertisement very seriously because that is when people will know that you are into this business and they want to give it, give it a try. All these things, the mantle that you are seeing in the market, it was because you, you are seeing them in the market because they advertise it because. They brought it out so when you advertise your own use your social media platform if you have money you can give influencers or you can go to tv station radio stations go there and advertise with your business and you start making money you can also take them to supermarket take them to go uh, wherever you feel that you can easily have sales all right take them to there and start selling to make money for yourself you can also organize people to go to the market to go and do a dance show by then you advertise with your product and you start selling and again make sure that the, the packaging is very beautiful because sometimes packaging is also very important because it is what will attract people to want to try your product all right so this is a very lucrative business here in nigeria and when you are back on you are going to make a lot of money for yourself all right number two business idea is production of local spice this is another lucrative business in nigeria and when you embark on you are going to make a lot of money for yourself because local spices is something that we use to cook our local delicacy. It's something that we need on on almost every day. All right. So this is something that is high in demand. And anything that is high in demand is a very lucrative business here in Nigeria. So what you do is look for the local spices in your area that you see that is high in demand because there are, we have a lot of local spices that are combined. So look at make your research you know the one that is high in demand in your area all right so which one is high in demand like in my area the one that is high in demand is local spices for banga soup all right so look for that one that is high in demand in your area all right when you look for it then combine com combine different uh, local spices together then process them into powder form package them then register with all these necessary bodies and start selling so this is a very lucrative business here in nigeria that when you start you are going to make money for yourself local spices is something that is high in demand and a lot of people they, they are going into the powder form because they believe it's more easier than the raw ones those ones you have to do a lot of process by grinding it by doing a lot of things people are no longer interested in going into stress they want to do their thing with ease they want to go into the kitchen and come out as soon as possible so you as a smart person you embark on this business you bring these local spices together blend them into powder form package them and start selling to 
potential customers and start making your money for yourself, all right? You can even decide to start exposing with your products and make money for yourself. So this is another lucrative business that when you start in Nigeria, you are going to make massive money for yourself. I'm not even kidding. You are going to make a lot of money for yourself, all right? The last but not the least is yarn flour. Yarn flour is another lucrative business in Nigeria because it's high in demand, all right? Yarn flour is used to make uh, yarn fufu. So when you start producing this, processing this yarn into powder, you are going to make money for yourself because some people, they don't want to, no, they don't want to pan the again. A lot of people don't want to pan yam again because of the stress. They just want to go into the kitchen, whip up something, and they are done and eat. Lots of people are avoiding stress this period. So you take us that, take it as an advantage to you. Buy this yam in surplus. Go to a location that you can get it at a very cheap price. Buy them in surplus. Take them to your house. Process it into powder. Start selling and start making money for yourself. Post them on your social media platform. Take them to supermarket. Take them to market. Take them to offices to go and sell. Take it to school campuses to go and sell because students will be interested in buying this because a lot of them will want to eat yam fufu, but they don't have that time. They don't have that energy to go into pounding of yam, all right? So if you start up this business, you are going to make money for yourself. You are going to excel in this business, all right? So guys, this is the end of our video for today. And if you know you have gotten value in this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, please try and subscribe. Click on the notification bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you like this video, share this video. A lot of you have been watching my video, but you refuse to subscribe. It's not, you don't have to pay money to subscribe. It's just subscribe to support the channel, alright? Thank you for watching. Bye.